I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to talk to you about AMPK, or adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase. It's a critical metabolic enzyme that we all produce that, when activated, is effective at burning fat, reducing glucose levels in the blood, and boosting metabolism. You find AMPK inside every one of your cells where it serves as a master determinant of energy metabolism, a sort of master switch for optimizing the metabolism, if you want to think of it that way. Low AMPK activity is one explanation for why some people struggle so hard to keep weight off, while others have virtually no trouble at all. Like ubiquinol, CoQ10, and so many other natural processes, AMPK levels decrease as we age, which prompts the loss of muscle tissue and the accumulation of visceral fat. This increase in abdominal fat snowballs the aging process. Abdominal fat produces massive levels of inflammatory cytokines that can seriously damage the blood vessels, brain cells, and the heart. This can also contribute to endothelial dysfunction, which is often a common denominator in both heart attacks and strokes. I've talked to you quite a bit in these videos about insulin resistance and the critical need to restore and maintain insulin sensitivity. Proper insulin levels also support optimal AMPK levels as insulin resistance significantly diminishes the actions of AMPK. Abdominal fat, which is almost always directly related to insulin resistance, is one of the worst kinds of body fat. Abdominal fat can produce systemic inflammation, leading to an ugly array of degenerative disorders, including diabetes, certain cancers, dementia, and cardiovascular disease. So what activates AMPK? Calorie restriction and regular vigorous exercise are two of the best AMPK activators. And those of you who have watched my videos know that while I'm not a fan of intermittent fasting, adhering to the ketogenic diet, which actually mimics the effects of fasting without actually fasting, is a great way to begin. There are several supplemental AMPK activators, one of which being pyroloquinoline quinone, or PQQ, my favorite supplement of all time, which supports the generation of new mitochondria. The bioflavonoids hesperidin and quercetin, particularly an enhanced form of quercetin called EMIQ, or enzymatically modified isoquercetin, and even the golden yellow alkaloid berberine are all potent AMPK activators. Even the prescription diabetes medication metformin is an AMPK activator, although berberine has significantly outperformed metformin. Yet another benefit of boosting AMPK levels is that an increase in AMPK improves autophagy, which is the process by which cells clear damaged proteins, dysfunctional mitochondria, viruses, and other metabolic waste. AMPK instigates the removal of cellular waste, and supporting this natural process as you grow older can help to avoid excessive abdominal fat. By contrast, impaired autophagy and the accumulation of cellular debris will interfere with vital cellular functions. Also, diminished AMPK levels promote excessive cell proliferation, which can lead to greater DNA mutations, accumulation of arterial plaque, and, of course, belly fat. Optimal AMPK activity will actually suppress cell proliferation, which is quite beneficial for conditions including atherosclerosis and obesity. In times of famine, AMPK actually increases, and this will slow cell proliferation and also instigates proper utilization of stored fat. Modern populations where food is beyond plentiful often suffer from AMPK suppression, and this stems directly from our overconsumption of calories, particularly sugar and refined carbs. If you eat this way, you should really try to boost your AMPK activity as much as possible. One of the easiest ways to do that is first to exercise every day, and second, try taking one or more of the supplemental AMPK activators I just mentioned. I would suggest PQQ and berberine most critically. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.